lifting the cup at the end of a memorable speech. I think he covered everybody and anybody in Croke Park. It's Tipperary's day. They are the champions. And the final score, Tipperary four goals and 17 points. Kilkenny, one goal and 18. We have new champions, Michael. We have indeed, and our thanks, of course, to Joe Canning and Michael Dignan in the commentary box. Cyril Farrell, Tomás Mulcahy and Ger Lockdown here in our studio. Obviously, wanting to quickly add their congratulations to Tipperary. They had to play better, Ger, than they did last year. And, oh, my God, they sure did. They sure did, Michael. And I, I was arguing yesterday in the start when I was, when, when I was going for Tipperary. I, was, I argued the fact that people are saying that it's Kilkenny are better, mm. Tipper not as good. But what tip are this year? Following the defeat in Cork, which rid them of any notions of grandeur, what they are since is a really genuine team. And you put your finger out there, you, say, you can have all the plans and all the tactics you like, but you cannot beat Hart. Yeah. Where you absolutely tear into it as hard as you can. Every man fights for every ball. Sometimes things, mm. things, things will go wrong, but you will get the breaks. Mm. Today, they got the breaks. They fought manfully in the tradition of the great Tipperary teams of the past. So did Kilkenny, didn't give up without a fight. Yeah. But on the day, Tip were the better team, fought harder, they had the conviction. They are the only team in Ireland that had the conviction to could beat, that they could beat, that they, they believed they could beat Kilkenny. And that was such a massive factor in today's way. It required a huge test of character in the second half for them, Tomás, because having done so much hard work in the first half, they were only a point up and it looked like the tide was turning. Yeah, but they didn't panic, you know, and even in the second half period as well when but well, Kenny were coming at him in ways, Michael. I mean, John mentioned about raw courage and having a bit of a bit of bottle and stuff like that. I mean the defense in the second half. There was ball after ball, mm -hmm. rain down on top of them. But they put their bodies on the line, they put their foot on it, they put the hurls in there. And like when Conor Manny went off, up stepped Podrick Marion yeah. to number six mm -hmm. position. Mm -hmm. And he led yes. the troops unbelievably <clears throat> so, you know. And I mean you mentioned about breaks and you get the breaks in days and they have this ability to get goals, you know. And the other thing they did, Sir Farrell, was as they showed for example against Galway when it was tight at the end, they got the scores at the finish. Yeah and their subs played very well too, like James mm. Hannick went got two points. I was delighted for Benny Dunn because last year mm. he was the fall guy, he came on and got a great fight. Yeah. And yeah. I, 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 this young Hennessy guy, I'm talking about him all year, I've seen him a lot in UCG and he's a great hurler too. But like, it was the scores I got and as Jerry says, it was the conviction. They played with great passion. It's hard to believe that in the second half they scored 3-7. Like, which is a big score in yeah. any half, like you know, and like there's there's new with beating to break or beating Kilkenny by eight points is, is unbelievable. But like you can't go without mentioning a great, great Kilkenny team as well. They've oh, given us great no days. They, that. they will be back. They will of course, but there'll be some as Owen Kelly said, there'll be some cracking third as tomorrow evening. So Tipperary are worthy All Ireland hurling champions for 2010 and that landmark five in a row remains as elusive as ever. This afternoon it finished Tipperary four goals and 17 points, Kilkenny one goal and 18. And the other remarkable thing I think that's happened at Croke Park here today, there actually was no pitch invasion and the GEA got their wish on that one. And obviously still celebrating and will do for days and weeks I'm sure to come in Tipperary. OK, Sir Far, Tomás Mulcahy and Gerlach Nan here with me in studio. Uh, Tomás, Dara Corbett, we talked about him before the match. We talked about the damage he can do if he gets a chance and goals against you. Did it in the first half and then did it again in the second. Yeah, I mean, they, they mentioned about King Henry. I think you'll have, you'll have King Larry now, being honest with you, because uh, uh, he's a joy to watch. I mean, he's a fantastic player, but like his vision is, is just incredible. And he's strike great in front of the goal is brilliant as well. And, like, this is a great pass by Norman McGrath into Super. Larry, right? I mean, no, oh, fantastic ball. And look at this, the Hurley is flying at him and stuff like that. Grows, it goes across. Last year we seen the guys Heavy going to go. Steps to yeah. us. And forget about the steps. Well, it was a yeah. 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 story, not yeah. at all. I think yeah. a few of those steps was ducking ah. the Hurley as well. So, hurley, yeah. Yeah. Look, lads, this, is, this, is, sheer, this is sheer class, sheer class. And I mean, that's I, what I, what, what we were saying at halftime, even if Larry has to be closer to goal, I mean, just drifting out and stuff like that, right? Yeah. That's his best position but, in around there, but the breaking most, ball. He's great running on to it as well, yeah, you know, exactly. running on to the ball like that. He's absolutely fantastic. Noel McGrath got the other crucial goal in the second half, Cyril. Yeah, Noel McGrath is a great holder, great race. He does the right thing in the right part. He actually gets a, a goal that's reminiscent of what Kilkenny usually get. Now, Brendan Cummins been a lot of time criticised, a long, long ball in here. Great ball that falls. You think Kilkenny back's going to break, but next thing, he comes rushing in, 
bangs into them with a flick of his between his hurl and, and his and his leg. But the point is, Michael, he comes in from a long way out. You'd imagine the Kilkenny Bass going to take it. It's coming down. It's a long time coming down. He comes in from the blind side here, gets a little flick, actually hits with the hurl and the foot. But he, he's after coming along where it's just it's a kind of a goal all the time that Kilkenny get. And when you get them kind of goals, you're actually going to win the matches because they're come from breaks. Okay. Well so then it's all over for another year in terms of the hurling championship, but uh, we're not done.